Hey guys and welcome back to the Tech Savvy YouTube channel. In today's video we will be upgrading the storage in this laptop. Luckily for us, most modern laptops use very similar designs in accessing the internal components. So this method of disassembly will apply to most models made over the last 5 years. If you are attempting to upgrade an older laptop, I will briefly include a clip on screen showing how to upgrade the storage in an older laptop. If you are looking to copy the data on your existing hard drive to the new one, also called a disk clone, make sure that you check out the video in the description about disk cloning before proceeding. Alright, getting started. We want to flip our laptop over, so make sure you have something soft underneath so the lid doesn't get scratched up while you're working. You could use a towel, I'm going to be using paper towels, you could use the top of the cardboard box, there's lots of different options, just make sure it's soft. We will start by removing all of the screws from the bottom panel. I will keep the removed screws off to the side in a similar pattern to which they were removed from the laptop, just in the closer proximity of each other. A key mistake that is commonly made when disassembling laptops that have a single large bottom panel is breaking the small retaining tabs when prying it away from the case. Use a thin but somewhat rigid object such as a credit card or a guitar pick to begin separating the panel away from the chassis. Just follow along the perimeter until the panel breaks free. If you found that you have separated all the retaining tabs around the perimeter, but the panel still will not come loose, check to see if there are any hidden screws underneath rubber feet that might be keeping the panel in place. This laptop uses the newer M.2 standard for its storage device. Though it does have an open bay for the older SATA based 2.5 inch drives. If you were using an older laptop, it would look something more like this, with different panels covering different components. If you wanted to change out the hard drive, you would have to remove two screws, either slide or lift the drive out depending on the design, remove the hard drive from the cage using these four screws here, install the new hard drive in, and slide it back into place, replacing your panel back on. Now for this newer standard of hard drive, we only need to remove one screw to replace this storage device. And that's it, we just upgraded the solid state storage device for this laptop. We could go ahead and place the back panel back on and close everything up. To reinstall this panel, I'm gonna start pressing in the retaining clips around the perimeter. And by reinstalling the screws, it should set the rest of them in place. Mm -hmm. 
All right, our system is powered back on. Since we previously cloned the drive before starting this upgrade, the system booted right up in the windows. So the upgrade was a success. Thank you guys again for watching another tech savvy video. If this video helped you or you like this sort of content, please like, comment, or subscribe on our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.